Welcome back to JG3 Reviews. I'm James and I've got another fountain pen that I want to share with you today. I am a fan of Platinum uh, Preppies. And this is not the pen of today, but it's related. It's related. The Platinum Preppy is an awesome pen for just a few bucks. Uh, I've paid less than three, sometimes they're almost four, but just an absolutely great everyday knockabout, throw in your pocket, your bag, kind of a fountain pen. Just great workhorse fountain pen and uh, not disposable. This is totally refillable. You can use cartridges, you can get a converter. Really, really good pen. I've had this one for probably, I don't know, two, three years. But this one is the new platinum pen and it's kind of an upgrade to this. It's it's meant to look a little bit nicer. It doesn't have the labels going all around. You can see mine's all scratched up and worn. Uh, it doesn't have all of that. This is supposed to be a nicer, more presentable kind of a pen. It basically writes the same as the Platinum, uh, which is good. That's actually a very good thing, but is a, a new, nicer looking pen. And this is called the Platinum, uh, I've heard Prefonte, which sounds like you ought to have Ricardo Montalban with fine Corinthian leather uh, selling this pen, but it's the, it's the Platinum, we're gonna say Prefonte, I have no idea how it's made up. I look Google Translate, they couldn't even figure out what language it was from. So I think it's just, you know, made up marketing word, but it is, a nice pen and I'm going to share with you what I like about it's a different style from the Platinum Preppy so what I like about the the style of the pen how well it writes do a writing sample and all of that and so uh, let's let the camera take a closer look at the Platinum Prefonte. Okay so let's take a closer look at this new Platinum pen. Now I got mine in a 0.5 medium nib and, and you'll see how that writes here in the writing sample in just a second. This is a really good looking pen. I like it. It's meant to be a little bit nicer than uh, the Platinum Preppy. It's built on the same mechanics of this pen. So if you're a fan of this, you're going to like, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just an old worn out pen and so it looks awful. Uh, but if you're a fan of the Platinum Preppy, and I clearly am, I have in 0.385, I have it in, in medium here in blue, and I even have the Platinum Preppy highlighter, which I'm going to review pretty soon. Love that. Uh, but it's, it's built on the mechanics, even can use the same barrel. It uses the same cartridges, converters, nibs, feeds, all of that kind of stuff. But this looks like, you know, you're on your way to take your finals, as my, my kids are doing today. You're on your way to take your finals at high school. And so this is your everyday normal pen. So they wanted to make something that looked a little bit nicer. It, it does cost a little bit more, but has a nicer look, a bit more presentable in more circumstances, that kind of thing. Maybe something to compete with, say, a Diplomat Magnum, or uh, maybe even a lot of those Jin Haos and Wing Sungs that are out there, and get a bit of that market. And I have a, a Parker Jotter fountain pen that I got not too long ago that is a step up from the Platinum uh, Prefante, but uh, in price, I paid half price for this. Normally, this would be twice the price of the Platinum, but I, I got this one for 50% off, so it was the same price. So this would be a little bit nicer pen. It has a little bit nicer nib, a uh, little bit nicer presentation, in a way, depending on your taste. But this is uh, meant to kind of go start going up into that market, and I think they'll do well. I actually think that it's, it's a good presentable pen, and it's great for the price. I like demonstrator pens. All of these are translucent. They offer it in red, which is a really nice looking red, way better than what it looks like. If you're looking online at, at the uh, pen sites and stores, uh, this looks way better than the promotional pictures. Those all look faded and dull, and it is not. It's actually a really nice, striking red color, really fits with the Christmas spirit as I'm filming this, doesn't it? Uh, it has a translucent, or excuse me, a transparent uh, grip section so that you can see the ink working through uh, the uh, feed out to the nib, which is the same great nib that's on the uh, Platinum uh, Preppies. And uh, it's kind of a, a more affordable Plazer in a way as well. It's either an upgrade, upgraded Preppy or a more affordable Plazer. I guess you could look at it that way uh, if you're familiar with Platinum's line. I think it's a, it's a great middle ground between those two pens. All three of them are great. It comes with, as you can see, because you can see through here, that that's a blue-black ink. That is the cartridge that comes with the pen, and those are proprietary. Uh, so you're going to need a converter 
It does not come with the pen. You'll need a, a converter from Platinum if you want to put in your own ink, which, you know, eventually I'll do because I'm probably actually going to replace that with red ink and flush that out and, and, and use red ink once the time comes. I did also purchase, because I wanted a green pen, uh, the green of uh, the same model. And it also looks far, far better than uh, the pictures give it credit online. But it's just a, a good looking pen. So I'm gonna assume that the orange, the black, and the blue also all look better in person than they do online. But I think Platinum's got a hit on their hands. I think it's a good price. It's very reasonable at $10. Uh, this is a pen that's going to last you a long time. It does have Platinum's ability to leave this pen inked up in a drawer for up to a year and it's still not dry out. And I can't, I can't testify to a full year because I've never left my pen alone that long. But I have a few of these and I can tell you that if you leave it alone for two or three months and get it back out, it's, you probably have a better chance of this working and just writing right away than you do with the average uh, ballpoint or gel pen. I've had more trouble with those drying out over that kind of a period of time. Had that problem this week, uh, but not with a, uh, a platinum, whether it is the Preppy, the Profante, or the, the Plazer. Kind of got a, an alliteration theme going on there, don't they? So let's do what's most important with any pen and let's set this up and see how the pen actually writes. All right, so let's see how this pen writes. It is, again, a 0.5 medium, and it's marked there on the cap, if you didn't notice that earlier, which I kind of like. And this is the Platinum. Prefonte, I guess, is how we're gonna keep saying that. And this one is the 0.5 medium, as I said, which is, this is actually my first experience actually writing with the Platinum and the 0.5 is when I got this pen. I do have this other Preppy, but it, it actually is still fresh out of the package. Uh, the one that I've used for years is a 0.38. So all of mine before this have been fine. So I got a few in medium and this one writes really well. This is uh, a blue black. I, this leans though much more toward uh, blue than black. Usually that's a little bit darker. And this is just a cartridge that that came with it. Uh, I'm gonna burn this up and then I'm gonna put some red ink in this puppy uh, to match the pen. Give you an idea of how it writes. A little bit more of a sample. Keeps up really well. I haven't had any issues with this in writing at all. Uh, so, really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really recommend that if you like the Platinum Preppy, that you really ought to get one of these. It's not a big investment. It's a nice looking pen. And I have, I've really enjoyed writing with it over the last week. I just got this in sometime earlier, uh, this week. I was on the, the, the pre-order list for this because I was excited that they were coming out with it. It is way better in person. If you've looked at it and you thought that the pictures were dull, because I thought that, uh, it looks way better in person as a pen, but it also writes really well. And if like me, you've only ever written with a fine, uh, platinum preppy before, you might, you might want to get this just to have the experience of the medium. That's a good smooth writing pen and just a handy one to have around. And uh, I mentioned it before, you know, somebody who's looking to get into fountain pens for the first time, I think this might be a really good first pen. And so I highly recommend it. All right. God bless you and have a great week and hit that like and subscribe so that you can catch the next video that'll be coming soon.